What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD mobile video. So today, today I actually wanted to talk about a YouTuber that I've been kind of enjoying watching because he's started playing Call of Duty Mobile. He's one of the people that I did mention in the previous video about how YouTubers are starting to take a sudden interest in like in COD Mobile. But I've been watching him recently. I've been watching all the Call of Duty Mobile videos and it kind of has confirmed some things that I knew was gonna happen if YouTubers ever moved to this game, which is a good thing. I'm not gonna say it's a bad thing, but um, I thought I'd just give you my thoughts on what's you know going on and who, who I'm actually talking about. So I'm sure you guys heard of I'm Marksman. He's probably one of the more prominent Call of Duty YouTubers that is not really from Call of Duty Mobile, but just from the mainline games. And um, he's typically someone that plays a lot of Search and Destroy um, you know, around Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 2019. But recently he started making a lot of COD Mobile videos talking about the skins, talking about how the ranked mode is, and just overall enjoying the game. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because over the past few months he has been kind of, I guess, you know, looking at Call of Duty in a negative light before he turned to this game. And that's mainly because, like I said, uh, Modern Warfare 2 has not been the most satisfying COD game um, at all. I mean, you know, the devs don't listen to them. Skill-based matchmaking is super high. Skill-based damage, all that crap. Yeah, I, I could understand why people like him are like losing their minds and, you know, I'd see why he's kind of like starting to deviate from, you know, regular Call of Duty and just moving here. He's been kind of doing the same thing that I did uh, when I quit Modern Warfare 2019. When I quit, I basically came to this game and ever since then, I never really turned back of course i did have some regrets obviously maybe if i stayed uh and played modern warfare or even cold war a little longer maybe i would have at least adjusted to how things were but that was just never really the case for me i just never wanted to deal with that and plus like you know the game before black ops 4 as fun as it was it was still pretty annoying and you know it caused a lot of rage moments that i just you know i don't like being angry all the time so I decided to take the more safer route and just go here. That's basically what he's doing, and honestly, he's much happier because of it. I decided uh, I wasn't going to share any of his clips or any clips of, you know, his gameplay. I don't think that was, you know, the right thing to do. Uh, I might, you know, get a copyright strike for using someone else's video content. And I'm not sure if I did that before, but I mean, I'm not really going to take the risk, uh, given that my channel is, you know, still relatively new. But overall, I've been watching, like, he's already made, like, about maybe six videos on Call of Duty Mobile. And I think right now he's kind of, like, on the journey of going to Legendary Ranked. And I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do that, given that he's playing on PC. But um, I'm hoping that he can make it to, you know, Legendary. And that's kind of, like, one big pet peeve that I have. I mean, I kind of wish we could at least connect the keyboard and mouse and the controller player base together. At the very least... So we could expand the player base for ranked and, you know, make it easier to get legendary. But that's obviously not going to be the case. And maybe he'll find a way around it because I know there are glitches for controllers. But of course, with me, I'm not really going to risk that because I don't want to get banned. But yeah. And that's kind of like the reason why um, Marksman is the one that I've kind of like taken a sudden interest with. Because yes, you have other YouTubers looking at COD Mobile, but they're not actually playing the game. They're just reacting to like certain skins. If anything, I think Tim the Tapman reacted to Marksman's videos. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I don't really think he was actually playing the game. But he was, you know, he was still, uh, I guess, very like interested in it, given that there's just a lot better content here and just a lot better gameplay overall. And for Marksman, the reason why I have been, you know, looking at his videos is because it's kind of like the way that he's been playing or the way that he's adapting is it's it's actually kind of mind blowing to me. And I've said this in the past that if, you know, YouTubers from the mainline games were to come to this game, they would eclipse me in a second. And that's kind of like what's happening right now. I mean, I'm looking at Marksman. He was al he's already way past what I was when I first started playing this game. I will say this though, I mean, Marksman is far, far better than what I ever will be. And even if I played the mainline Call of Duty games for, you know, these past three years, he would still probably eclipse me. Like there's times where like I do improve, but sometimes I just stay in a plateau for like a very long time. So yeah, that's, that's just me, but this guy improves constantly and he's like extremely good at the game. Well, all of them, if, if I'm being real. But the fact that he's improving extremely fast, I, I think that's actually a good thing because obviously he's going to start wanting to make more videos on Call of Duty Mobile 
And honestly, I think we do kind of need the promotion. And even if he's not, you know, a touch player, I mean, the fact that he's still enjoying it, I don't know, It's it, it kind of brings me a bit of peace or a bit of happiness. Most of the YouTubers I've seen, even Face Jeff, have not really been enjoying, you know, the main Call of Duty games for a long time. And seeing them finally play something that, you know, actually puts a smile on their face is kind of like nice to see because, again, they've kind of like been in this shithole for three years and it's, you know, like they've been constantly complaining and just talking about the game in a negative light. Well, not this one, but like, you know, Modern Warfare 2. And seeing them finally be a little bit more positive is kind of like nice. And that's basically the exact reason as to why I left Modern Warfare 2019. I mean, when I came to this game, I was a lot happier. I was far more... Um, you know, I was far less prone to rage, you know, it's, it's kind of like just one of those things. And give it some time, I know, like, he's playing on, P you know, keyboard and mouse, a lot of people consider that to be easy, but, I mean, I'm not really that sure, I'm not sure how the keyboard and mouse function truly works on, you know, on Call of Duty Mobile, but, uh, the fact that he's improving that fast, I mean, you know, give it, like, a few months, he'll probably, like, be way better than I am right now. And yeah, like that's that's honestly, it's it's just amazing seeing like a lot of you know mainline YouTubers for Call of Duty, like finally you know putting their foot down and just going to this game. As it goes for you know just an, in a hypothetical dream scenario, I'm not really sure like how things would turn out if you know all the main YouTubers would come to this game. And you know that's always one of the like that's probably one of the biggest questions for me. I mean, if everyone just flocked to this game, I wonder what kind of like setups they would use. Um, I'm assuming, well, at least for the most part, based on what I've seen so far, I think a lot of players would you know stick to keyboard and mouse or a controller. And I'm sure there would be some out there that would just play the way that you know at least this game is intended. You know, just playing touch. But, you know, based on what I've seen, you know, Merc Music, uh, you know, Marksman and other, you know, Call of Duty YouTubers, they typically use PC. But I think the only one that doesn't is probably COD Ghost 619. But, yeah, I, I would really want to see how that would turn out if everyone just flocked to this game instead. Like if they just left uh, Modern Warfare 2 in the gutter, that'd be kind of interesting. But, yeah, anyways, that's my whole take on the situation. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.